cloudy Tuesday evening out there. Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann tracking your evening forecast. About the case of the haves and the have nots, literally this screen right here behind me is showing that some places have the sunshine and no rain, and some places have the rain and no sunshine. This is a live view from our Birmingham Tower Cam high atop Red Mountain. We're looking west right now, and you can see that column of rain falling in western Jefferson County. It looks a little more ominous on the screen. It's now started to dissipate into just some light showers from Rock Creek. Heaviest rainfall over Mud Creek right now, just to the south of Ezra, but a much heavier uh, patch of rainfall and thunderstorms near uh, Indian Springs. So right along Highway 119 and Interstate 65 there. So we're tracking just a mess of wet weather. It's now moved just slightly south of Hoover. It continues to meander south, not quickly. You can see by that future cast, it will slide along I-65 towards Pelham and Alabaster within the next hour with rainfall to our west heading towards Brockwood there in western Tuscaloosa County. I'm continuing to track isolated storms Storms south of 20, those will continue sliding southbound, but there still are a few storms up in North Alabama that will be moving into our viewing area. So I'm not saying the rain's all done just yet. It's something we'll be keeping a very watchful eye on through the early evening hours. Right now, though, we've had no severe storms for this afternoon. Temperatures right now in some spots hotter than uh, in some than others. Look at Tuscaloosa, 96. They were at 98 just an hour ago, 92 in Birmingham, but some rain cooled air down in Clinton, 79 degrees. Chance of showers and thunderstorms remains in your forecast through at least midnight tonight. Of course, between about 10 p.m. and early tomorrow morning, that'll become much more isolated. Partly cloudy overnight with those temperatures going from the 90s now to the low to mid 70s overnight. Here's where we'll start out tomorrow morning as those temperatures settle in the 70s. By 11 a.m. tomorrow, though, back in the low 90s, a dry start to your Wednesday, followed by patchy rainfall in the afternoon. Heavier showers and storms likely late afternoon, 5 p.m. to around 8 p.m. in North Alabama. And then those spotty showers should begin to dissipate after sunset. Temperatures in the 70s, low 80s as we start our Thursday morning. And again, another return of some wet weather by Thursday afternoon. Thursday will be our first day with decent amount of coverage where most people will likely see some type of rain throughout the day. This will continue through at least 7 p.m. Notice the rain chances going up Thursday and into Friday, and then we'll see a sharp, a sharp drop in rain chances Saturday and Sunday. Where we see better rain chances, that aligns with a little bit of a cooler temperatures. It's all relative, okay, whether it's 91 or 94. It's all hot, but we'll get a little bit of a break. Real quickly, tracking the tropics, we have tropical depression number 11. If it becomes a tropical storm, it becomes Josephine. At this point, it's well out in the Atlantic. Expected to become a tropical storm, though, on Thursday, it's taking a very similar track to Isaiah, so it's something that we'll be watching closely in the coming days. For us, though, it's hot, humid, and feels like August across Alabama. And that's a look at your storm team, 7-3.